Throughout the years, we have reviewed countless mice in this channel. Some of them were for gaming, while others were for general use cases or productivity. But today, we have a unique mouse in our hands and it is unlike anything we have reviewed before. This is the QMouse AI mouse. It is designed for professionals, students, and almost anyone who is looking to boost their efficiency. As the name suggests, it has AI integrated into it, and we are going to put it to the test to figure out whether it actually lives up to its potential. Let's get started. The first thing we noticed was how light this mouse is. It weighs about as much as an egg, which makes it pretty easy to move around. Despite the lightweight build, it is well-balanced and comfortable to hold. The shape works well for different hand sizes, and after hours of use, we didn't experience any discomfort. The outer body of the mouse has a cloth-like texture, which gives it a premium feel and provides better grip. The soft, fabric-like finish is not only comfortable to the touch, but also ensures that your hand stays secure during long sessions. It has a textured, slightly grippy surface that prevents a slipping, even when your hands get a little sweaty. The texture adds to the overall ergonomic design, and that makes it feel natural and easy to hold, even during extended use. The buttons are another highlight. It's light to press and quite silent, which makes them good for quiet environments. Whether we were coding, writing, or just browsing, the clicks felt smooth and effortless. If you're used to heavier, clicky buttons, this might take some getting used to, but we found it to be a nice change. So if you're used to the satisfying click sound of traditional mice, the silent buttons might take some time to get used to. But overall, the design is well thought out, balancing comfort with functionality. What makes this mouse interesting is its built-in AI assistant. We could bring up an AI model on the screen, even while using full-screen apps like VS Code on a Mac. The assistant stays floating where we need it, and we could resize or move it around to keep things comfortable. The GQLQR AI mouse comes with a few built-in popular AI models, like DeepSeek R1, Grok3, OpenAI O3 Mini High, Claude AI, and Quen Max. So you can choose from different AI models depending on what you need. Plus, you can even add your own custom AI models or use ones running locally on your device for better privacy, giving you a lot of flexibility. For us, this was quite convenient to use. We could quickly generate code snippets, summarize text, or even translate languages without switching windows. The built-in voice input feature was another standout. It's accurate and supports multiple languages like English, Spanish, French, German, Chinese, Japanese, Italian. During testing, it managed to transcribe speech at around 400 words per minute, which is impressive. Whether we were taking notes, drafting emails, or dictating ideas, the AI-powered speech-to-text worked really well. What's more, it's capable to translate the voice to different language text, which is a big plus for work or study involved with multi-languages. Another useful feature is the one-click screenshot function. Not only does it capture the screen instantly, but it also includes an image editor and OCR to extract text from images. We tried it with screenshots of code, and it accurately converted that into editable text. This is super handy for grabbing information from images without having to retype anything manually. There is a programmable M key located on the side of the QMouse. Users can customize its function in the key mapping page of the QMouse app. For example, users can assign it to keyboard shortcuts like Control plus Up which I personally use frequently on Mac to switch between different apps. This allows users to perform complex keyboard combinations with just a single button press on the mouse. Moving on to how the GQLQR AI mouse actually works, it's all about precision and adaptability. After using the GQLQR AI mouse for a while, we found that it offers a unique combination of traditional mouse functions and AI features. The mouse works by clicking a button to activate an AI assistant that floats on your screen. You can easily adjust the size and position of the AI assistant to fit your workspace. Besides, its integration with multiple AI models allows you to access different tools depending on your task, whether it's writing, coding, 
or research. The voice input feature is surprisingly accurate. However, compared to local voice-to-text, the GQLQRQ mouse is not fast because it needs to send the audio to the server to recognize. However, it indeed has better accuracy as local PC is generally not power enough to run big AI models as the remote sever. We also loved the OCR tool that extracts text from screenshots. Plus, the mouse lets you switch between devices using both Bluetooth 4.0 and 2.4G wireless connections and it's useful when multitasking. The adjustable DPI feature also lets you fine-tune the sensitivity based on what you're doing. Overall, it's a pretty convenient and efficient tool for multitasking. Aside from that, we were really impressed with the overall performance and responsiveness of the mouse. It works well with both Windows and Mac, so we were able to connect it easily to our MacBook too. And it's like having an extra digital assistant that helps with writing, coding, translating, and more. That keeps your workflow uninterrupted. In addition, the GQLQR AI mouse offers 6,000 minutes of free speech to text and $2 in credit tokens, which allows you to test out various advanced AI models. Once the credits are used up, you can easily purchase more or use your own local LLM or other providers like OpenAI or Claude AI. For those who frequently work with international tasks or rely on speech-to-text features, this mouse is definitely a great choice. Plus, it comes at a reasonable price, making it an affordable option for most users. So that was all about the GQLQR AI mouse review. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.